Moving on to Group B. Group B, Cape Verde has qualified for the round of 16 in crazy fashion. They topped the group. Uh, they had a very, very dope game against Egypt, which we talked about in detail in our recap. Um, then Mozambique, in the shock of the probably the round of the tournament, Mozambique drew with Ghana too, and Ghana were leading 2-0 up until the 80-something minute where they just decided they're going to concede. It's okay, they conceded the first goal, but the second one was even dumber because it was just the goalkeeper doing something stupid, ball comes off his hand, and they get a corner in which they concede. And in dramatic fashion, Ghana were probably the... They didn't, they didn't give themselves any hope with two points. Like, they needed at least four points to be uh, one of the better-placed fourth, uh, third-place teams because only four go through out of the six, out of the six, from the six groups. So... Mozambique showed a lot of fight. I was quite impressed by them. Even though they went out, they showed that, they, you know, these are these are those performances that you can build upon, right? And it gives your team so much confidence, especially being a lower ranked team, a team with uh, players who don't play as in as high leagues as the likes of Ghana. So, I feel like it's a good thing for them, and they can always build on it. Cape Verde versus Egypt. I think Cape Verde, uh, they've just shown a lot of resilience, a lot of fights. <laughs> they they don't give up. They actually don't give up. Egypt scored 90 plus, what, 90 plus, I don't know, three or four. And it was basically no time left. Literally, there was only time left for like one kick and Cape Verde ended up scoring. This result was even more surprising considering Cape Verde rested eight of their first 11. Um, eventually, they brought, the, they brought them on to kind of show up. Um, the only person who didn't come on, I think, was Bebe, who was actually rested completely. But yeah, for you to rest eight players and still draw 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 two two with Egypt, um, quite impressive. Egypt also impressed me in the second half. The way they came out in that second half, they made subs. The um, Mamouche Amour, um, who else was quite impressive? Trezeguet coming off the bench had like the best six minutes you level you'd you'd want from a uh, substitute in terms of impact. Um, three quick shots. Second one was a goal. Um, again, just just he was just really really good and. He gives the coach a, quite a big headache in terms of selection. So, um, Egypt are a big, big threat. I think they are just peaking at the right time. They started off slow, but I think they're just peaking at the right time slowly. They finished with three points in the group. Ghana, obviously, on two points, and Mozambique on two points in last place. 